Good morning. In today's lesson, I want to talk to you about business development, meeting prospects, and keeping your sand time afield. Hello, I want to talk to you about the sand timer of engagement. Now, the sand timer is a story or a metaphor that I use with a lot of my clients when we're talking about business development and prospecting. I think it's kind of arrogant that we meet prospects who could be potential clients. We have a really great conversation with them and then we assume that they'll get back to us when they're ready to buy. Now, sadly, that's not the case. Most people have three brands that they will remember and if you're not one of those three brands, then they will have forgotten about you at some future point. So that's where the introduction of this concept of a sand timer comes in. The concept being that when you meet with that prospect, you've reset the sand timer, it's now full and it's starting to trickle away. We have prospect meetings or conversations or emails and we assume that that's enough to convert that prospect to a customer. But of course the reality is that unless we're very lucky we're not necessarily going to talk to our prospects at a point when they're ready to buy now they may be interested in what you've got to say but we as human beings can only remember three brands at the front of mind at any one time so if you're not one of those three brands then when they are at a point to buy they will have forgotten about you and they'll select someone else and then you'll bump into them one day and they'll say, oh yeah, we needed that service recently. And you'll be thinking, well, why didn't you pick us? And that's because the sand timer's run out. So the concept of a sand timer is that every time you meet with your prospect or you communicate in some form, either phone or by email with your prospect, you have refilled the sand timer. Now that sand timer is now ticking. And if the sand timer runs out before you engage with that prospect again, then they will have forgotten about you and if you're not one of those three brands at front of mind, then when they're ready to buy, they won't select you. So the secret is to re-engage with your prospect just before the sand timer has run out so that you can turn the sand timer up the other way and reset it. And usually that period of time is going to be something like three months, but you can work that out for your own context. Sometimes it might be a bit longer than that, and sometimes it's shorter than that. But as a rule of thumb, if we say we need to engage with people who could buy from us, but weren't ready to buy from us at the point when we first spoke with them, then if we re-engage with them before the sand timer runs out, we're keeping up front of mind. So you need to find reasons to stay engaged with your prospects. Obviously, the first time you talk to them, you'll be talking about your product or services, and they all have shown some interest. Then maybe the second time you might be launching a new product, you might have a great case study that's relevant to them to share, you might have some market insight that you want to share with them. But whatever it is, you need to find a reason to engage with them again so that you can reset the sand timer so that it never runs out. And that means that when they're ready to buy, you will be still one of the three brands that are front of mind. So just apply this sand timer concept to all of your business development and you're gonna then give yourself as much chance as possible to be at least on the selection list when they're ready to buy.